Around Kansas, brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. Go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Back again. Well, one of my favorite people uh, we're doing a little segment on today in honor of his uh, retirement, his stepping down from the bench, federal judge Richard Rogers. And I had the uh, great honor of interviewing Dick several years ago about his World War II experiences. Mm. He was a bombardier in World War II. So I interviewed him about that and got some incredible stories. Just, a, just an incredible man. And he, um, at the age of 93, has stepped down from the bench now. And what a, what a career it's been. He served honorably and, and, and quite a while, too. Yeah, absolutely. Let's visit with Dick a little while. Born in Oberlin, Kansas in 1921, Richard Rogers earned his undergrad degree from K-State in 1943 in the middle of World War II. Soon he would be serving in the middle of the war himself. As a bombardier in the U.S. Army Air Corps, Captain Rogers was stationed in Italy and flew his first combat mission in October 1944. By that year's end, he had flown 15 missions targeting industrial areas in Austria, Hungary, Yugoslavia, and Germany. The climax came with the bombing of the Messerschmitt plant at Newburgh, Germany, where a jet was being manufactured that was faster than anything the Allies could put in the sky. The only way to hit it was while it was on the runway. One of his earliest missions was also the scariest. The weather shifted. The sky became so thick with fog as Dick's plane neared the Alps that the squadron leader had to fly by instruments. The pilot was inexperienced and began leading his entire force into a dive. When orders came to turn back, there was just enough light for Dick to see the near misses as planes maneuvered in the clouds. Dick could see planes crashing into the Adriatic Sea. Rumors around the base were that 60 planes had been lost that day without so much as seeing the enemy. 60 planes. Scores of men lost because of inexperience and poor judgment. It was a valuable lesson. Rogers went to KU for his law degree and went into private practice in Manhattan and then taught at K-State. Leadership roles followed as he served as a city commissioner and mayor in Manhattan, county attorney in Riley County, state legislator and senator. He was president of the Kansas State Senate when President Gerald Ford appointed him to the U.S. District Court for Kansas in 1975. His many honors include Distinguished Kansan of the Year by Native Sons and Daughters. School desegregation, prison overcrowding, mandatory sentences for drug dealers, the issues that crowded into his courtroom were those defining our nation. They never seemed to be resolved, but rather evolved. His military experience helped him, said the judge, learn to make decisions. Judge Rogers is retiring after decades of working 70-hour weeks in service to his state and nation. He has earned his rest. So I guess we're done for this week. Hmm. Well, we'll be here next week, of course, on Wednesday. So. We sure will. And we'll start out in color. We won't, we won't <laughs> try to fool you. So I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Red, ripe,